Amazing facts about Prince Charles III you should know. Charles is finally the king. And at 73 years old, the longest serving heir to British history has lived a whole life while waiting to take the throne. So, the former Prince of Wales had a lot of time to join the Navy, star a lot of charities, get married twice, and get into his fair share of scandals. In today's video, we will tell you some interesting facts about Prince Charles. So stick with us till the end. The birth of King Charles III at Buckingham Palace marked the beginning of the 20th century for the royal family. Charles Philip Arthur George was born to Prince Elizabeth and Prince Philip on November 14, 1948, when Elizabeth was 22 years old. This was just six days before his parents' first wedding anniversary. Newspapers referred to the newborn as a lovely boy, a really splendid baby. But Matthew Halton of CBC Radio reminded listeners that the infant wouldn't be king for quite some time yet. According to the information provided by Halton, he may well be 50 or 60 years old before he ascends to the throne. This is based on the assumption that both his grandfather, who was the king, and his mother, who was the princess, lived their full lifespans. Halton was incorrect by more than a decade, as Charles would have been 73 years old when Queen Elizabeth II passed away. When Charles III later King of England and France was officially bestowed the title of Prince of Wales, he was only nine years old. Even though he was already the Prince of Wales who had served the longest, he might have been available to keep the title for a few more years if he had been appointed to it earlier. The title Prince of Wales can only be bestowed upon a male heir apparent, but his selection as prince is not a foregone conclusion. When Charles's grandfather passed away in 1952, he moved up from third to second in line to the throne. However, he did not receive the title of Prince of Wales and Earl of Chester until 1958 when he was nine years old. This was also the year that he was promoted from third to second in line to the throne. People didn't know if King Charles III would keep his name. As the popes do, many monarchs choose a regal name that is different from their birth name. For example, Charles's grandfather, George VI, who was born Albert Frederick Arthur George, but went by Berto for most of his life, chose a name that was not his birth name. Even though the king is the most well-known Charles in the UK, the last two kings with the name Charles did not do well in history. Because of what Charles I did, he was put to death for treason and the monarchy was taken away for a short time. His son, Charles II, went into exile until the monarchy was brought back 11 years later. He was liked by most people, but he was known to have at least a dozen children with other women. Some people called Charles Stuart Charles III even though he was best known as Bonnie Prince Charlie and for the rebellion in Scotland that tried to put him on the throne. But Charles decided to keep his name. This was one of the first things he did when he became king. Charles III can play a cello. The King of the United Kingdom, Charles III, has been a patron and supporter of the arts for a long time. He is a patron of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, the Associate Board of the Royal School of Music, the Royal College of Music, and many other organizations. And it all seems to come from the fact that when His Majesty was young, he went to the ballet with the Queen Mother and played cello in the University Orchestra. In a radio podcast, His Majesty talked about practicing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in his bedroom before a performance with the orchestra of Trinity College, Cambridge. He said he was hopeless at playing the cello, but he was proud to say that. King Charles III's secret service is called Unicorn. Charles was given the code name Unicorn while he was in the United States as is customary for certain foreign dignities who come to visit. The fanciful name is, in an odd way, appropriate that the unicorn is Scotland's national animal and has been included in the country's coat of arms for approximately 600 years. However, the first time that a Scottish monarch is known to have used a unicorn as a representation of their power dates back to the late 1300s. At that time, the arms and gateway of Rothesey Castle which is located on the Isle of Bute in Scotland, featured unicorns. This was either Robert II or Robert III. The Duke of Rothesey was one of King Charles III's earliest titles, which he received when he was just five years old. Richard Nixon tried to set up his daughter, Tricia, with King Charles III. In 1971, the eldest daughter of President Nixon, Tricia, became the first person to get married in the Rose Garden of the White House outside. But the summer before, her father was trying to get the future king of England and her to get together. When Charles and his sister, Princess Anne, went to Washington, D.C. on a trip that was not officially sanctioned, they were 21 and 19 years old, respectively. 
They were treated as royal dignities and given rooms in the White House, in addition to being taken to several museums and other sites in the Washington, D.C. area. Charles was still amused by what the president did, even though he didn't get along with the president's daughter. When King Charles III was dating Lady Diana Spencer's oldest sister, he had his first encounter with Lady Diana Spencer. In his 20s, Charles was known as a playboy, and any girl from a royal family was seen as a potential princess and a story for the media. In June 1977, he met Lady Sarah Spencer at a party in Windsor Castle. They both invited each other to polo and shooting events. In November, Charles went to the Spencer estate, where he met Sarah's younger sister, Diana, who was 16. According to Bedell Smith's Diana in Search of Herself, Portrait of a Troubled Princess, published in 1999, after going on a ski vacation with Charles in Switzerland in February 1978, Sarah reportedly told a tabloid that she was not falling for the then prince, and she added, there's no question of me being the future Queen of England. He probably hadn't met her yet. There was a frog named after King Charles III. The scientific journal Zootaxa published an article in 2012 announcing the discovery of a previously unknown species of tree frog that has been known as Prince Charles Stream Tree Frog. It was given his name in honor of the work he had done to preserve rainforests. He's been vocal about the perils of climate change for a long time, and in 2007, he founded the Prince's Rainforest Project as a charity and awareness campaign. Dr. Louise A. Coma found the brown amphibian with large orange spots among museum specimens that had been kept alive. The professor went on a trip to a national park in his home country and found three adults and some young frogs. A book for young readers was penned by King Charles III. In 1980, Prince of Wales, King Charles, wrote a book for kids called The Old Man of Loch Nagar. At the time, King Charles III was about 31 years old. It's a story about an old man who lived in a cave in the cliffs near the Cory Loch, Loch Nagar, which is a mountain that looks down the royal family's castle in Scotland. It was written and drawn by Sir Hugh Chasm. Interestingly, King Charles III told this story to his younger brothers Andrew and Edward, when they were young, and he later had it written down and published. Prince Charles' story, The Old Man of Loch Nagar, was also made into an animated short film by the BBC. Robbie Coltrane voiced the hermit, and Prince Charles told the story. Wikipedia says that the book was later turned into a musical stage play and danced as a ballet. The coronation of King Charles III will not take place right away. The moment his mother passed away, Charles was crowned king. However, Despite the fact that the coronation of Charles, also known as Operation Golden Orb, was planned before Elizabeth's passing, it will not take place right away. Before it began to make preparation for the extravagant yet solemn religious ceremony, the United Kingdom will initially enter a period of mourning. The coronation of Elizabeth II did not take place until well over a year after she was proclaimed queen. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again in the next one.